We're gonna start, guys. Hopefully, Wendy's didn't mess up the order like the Bell Life guys, and they had to re-wait for them. It only cost almost sixty dollars for these. Look at that. You guys smell that at home? Seriously, for you guys out there, smell it. You smell your phones, guys. Don't be stupid. Ah, uh, here we go. Make sure the traps are initiated. To coming back. Here we go. <laughs> no time. There's no time limit on these guys. We're just going at it. I'm uh, adjusting. I had Austin Aries on this weekend. Uh, and I'm, I am now the 300 pound vegan, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> we were just talking about that. Uh, how is, uh, you know, from trying the Popeye's chicken sandwich and the, that video has got hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, that's a pretty drastic change, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Well, so I, the first thing I thought of, so Austin comes on the show and for me, I've done all these different diets. And I, my thing is, I'll take, I'll look at studies, I'll look at research, and I think you could find whatever you want to look for, you're going to find answers to. I forget what it's called. It's uh, where you essentially confirmation bias or something, where, where you look to just kind of a, to find approval of what you're already thinking. And I, but the whole vegan diet was the one thing I never really dove down that rabbit hole. And Austin is not, he's very knowledgeable on the subject. And he's, the, he's not like a, a pushy vegan or anything of that nature. He just explains to you his story. And I go, well, hell, I'm already on this path of, I eat a lot of rice as it is and a lot of salad as it is in vegetables. I, my main thing was, is my protein, I never really looked at how I could replace or cut down on that protein. I eat a lot of animal protein. And it's been health-wise, my cholesterol was always off. I've cut down on that a lot from what it was. I'm looking at it, I go, you know what? I see they have the Beyond Meat stuff out there. I've got, I've went to the store and I've done it now for a day and a half, and it's already it, it's not difficult. Like it's not a drastic for my lifestyle. What I'm doing, it isn't that radical of a change. Now the YouTube videos was the first thing I thought of. I go, what the hell am I going to do? And for me, I think it comes down to more of a balance thing. Where, and again, I do have issues to it. Like as I'm sure as everyone with how animals are treated and whatnot. I want to see how I feel firsthand, though. Get the blood work done. See what, how my labs come back. But I was like, oh, I got the, the the feeding time on YouTube. What I'll probably do is that Beyond Meat stuff is in a lot of the fast food places now. Yeah, it'll just be me doing those videos. Ryback's entry into the vegan timeline is probably one of the most underestimated epic events of the last year. You see, Ryback has a huge following on both YouTube and TikTok and even Twitter. Basically every platform this guy is on, he's huge. And this is the thing guys, he is showing meals. And they're not hoity-toity magical recipes where he's sprinkling omelet powder on stuff, no. This dude is straight up crushing food that average Americans could probably see themselves eating. And maybe it's not the end of the journey for the greatest health ever, but if you're smashing workouts and you need calories, this guy's on the go, he's grabbing some fast food, and he's showing people the vegan options. So before you talk down on vegan fast food options, just be aware that many Americans don't know how to eat a whole food plant-based diet. Well, Ryback is also showing more home meal prep videos, and that's something he's done for a while, but of course now all of those are vegan. So this has a ripple effect, guys, and if you go back and look at that comment I left before he went vegan, you'll see that I recognized his potential to change the game. And that's what he's been doing ever since he went vegan. Maybe you guys just don't appreciate it, but I'm hyped, and I will always respect you, Ryback, for what you've done so far, regardless of where you go with it. Ryback has charisma that's undeniable. I'm talking about feeding time i'm talking about feed me more y'all don't know y'all don't know how deep this dude is in the game until you see what he's doing himself so i want all y'all to go subscribe to ryback's channel make sure you do that and uh let him know that you're glad he's on the team vegan you want to see him do more whole food plant-based 
meal prep videos, all of that stuff. Let him know that you are glad he is on the squad because we got to appreciate these people when they come around because it's not every day. And when people get picky and try to attack people because they don't like the way they're doing something, then that's one of the reasons why people don't stick around. So I just want to show you some love for Ryback and that's why I made this video to document a small part of his journey and his progression down this path of figuring out what is going on with this food situation and how to deal with it in today's world. So this is Red Pill Vegan signing off.